All right, guys, I know this is different than my usual kind of content on my channel, but this is something that I'm struggling with personally, and I just have to make a video about it. Depression is real, you know? Ever since, like, ninth grade, like, going into ninth grade, my life has just been getting worse. I have no motivation at all whatsoever. My life is just hitting the fan, and I have no idea at all whatsoever if life is going to get better. I mean, like, I have no idea why my life is the way it is. I have a couple of theories. And, like, a couple of the factors are known. Like, school has definitely played a role in my mental health. And, like, my dad's... De my, bleh, my dad's passing when I was only eight years old. And then, like, one and a half years later, my grandma died. And then just recently, like, a year or two ago, my... Uh, my Opa died. And Opa especially, he was a Vietnam War vet. So, I thank him for his service. God bless the USA. Anyway. And it's just... My life has just been getting worse since then. Like... Like I said, ever since COVID started, really. Just... Things just haven't been the same. Honestly, and like, I know for one, I for one have been working with my therapist, whose name I'm obviously not going to say for obvious reasons, and we have definitely been working together to try and find the root cause of why I, this, what, sorry, why I feel the way I feel, and like, we're also working on like, why I say I don't know all the time, which... Luckily, I don't think I've said that phrase in this video yet, apart from that once, but it it's a bad habit of mine. I say I don't know all the time, and I'm trying to stop. And the working theory for that is, you know, I don't think before I speak, because, you know, when I don't have anything to say, I just freeze up, and I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. And, as I say, I have started to not say that phrase. I still say it every now and then, but, like, yeah. Um, yeah, but I digress. And, you know, it's funny because I'm going to put it up on the screen in a bit. But what they did, right, is they scanned the brains of normal people, people that are not mentally ill, and then they scan the brains of people that have depression, people with OCD, people with, uh, 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 with, with bipolar, and then people with schizophrenia, you know, show that right, right, right about now, in a few, and, like, you can tell, like, people with depression, they don't have the chemical reactions. Like, it's a whole... Like, there's zero chemical reactions going on in a depressed person's brain. And, of course, there are still some chemical reactions. Of course, if your brain had zero chemical reactions, you'd be dead. And obviously, you can't have just one brain cell, otherwise you'd be dead. But, like, it's figures anyway. Um, but anyway, I'm going to actually show that graph with People with depression versus people with schizophrenia, etc. Here's that aforementioned little chart. On the very far left is the normal brain, you know, the brain of someone that does not have depression. That's normal. Just kind of use that as like your reference picture. Then you got your person with depression who has significantly less going on. Then you got P 
people with bipolar, they got a little more than the depression brain, but still significantly less. Schizophrenia, a little more closer towards the normal. However, they still got a lot more at the back. And then you got people with OCD, which is just a lot everywhere. These are chemical imbalances and something the person with the mental illness cannot control. So yeah, look at the evidence. Look at the numbers. This is real. You can Google this stuff yourself. It's a real study performed by people with doctorates in psychology or whatever mental health. I think mental health. Your mental health is considered like psychology or whatever mental health is considered. I think mental health is considered like a form of psychology. It has to do with the brain and how it works. Like brain anatomy. You actually have to know how the human brain works. You actually have to have a doctorate in like, you know, the brain, knowing how the brain stem works. Like, these are people that went to college for, like, four years, and they spent those four years just studying the human brain and nothing else. Those people are actually credible. Unlike, I'm not going to say his name, otherwise I'll definitely be canceled by his cult. But, someone whose name starts with A, last name starts with T, that's all the information I'm going to provide. Otherwise, I will be canceled for being programmed by the Matrix. <sighs> Just shut the fuck up. These, these people cannot admit to being wrong. It's embarrassing. Like, unless that guy has a doctor in, like, psychology or whatever mental health is considered, I mean, I would ask my Alexa, Alexa would not. I mean, like... What, like, major... Yeah. Yeah, mental health, mental illness, and studying the mental illnesses, that falls under, like, health and, like, STEM, like, science kind of thing. And, you know, I want to give my sources from people with doctorates or are based off of scientific evidence, like the brain scans... These are real brain scans done using professional equipment. Not only that, right? Regarding, you know, brain scans. And, you know, I'm pretty sure I made a comment about people with depression. Their brains are chemically imbalanced. That's how antidepressants work. Antidepressants are stimulants. They, like, restore the chemicals... So that they're more balanced, that the people with depression, their brains are able to have those chemical reactions again. Antidepressants work. Now, personally, I'm not on antidepressants yet, although I know my mom has been trying to get me on some light antidepressants, and I genuinely feel they'll actually work. You know, I feel, personally, if you ask me, I feel I myself want to get, like, a brain scan done. I don't think that would really help, but it's worth a try, honestly, because, like I said, people with depression, when you scan their brains, like, they don't have all that gray matter, all that fancy stuff. Like, my amygdala is probably constantly going off all the time, telling me if something bad's going to happen when it's not. See? Amygdala. I just used the actual scientific term. Because I get all my information from actual credible sources with people that actually know how the human brain works. Anyway. I showed you all the evidence. I know I've been yapping about this stuff. This is something y'all will have to look into yourself in the event that you do not believe that I am sick. Yeah, here's a tweet by don't remember, but I'll see, we'll see their name. But yeah, mental health is real. Now, obviously not all people with depression, there are a lot of people with depression that are constantly on their brain and refuse to do stuff about it. And that's not their fault, though. But anyway, there's the tweet. I might 
you know, do what I did with the brain scan thing. I might not have a picture in picture, but I'll see what I do. But yeah, mental illness is real, y'all. Stop the pain. Stop the stigma. I wish I was wearing uh, green. I think I have a green shirt. I My school has a green out. So, you're definitely going to see me there. If you go to my school, which you're not going to say what my school is, because, you know, our school has already had lots of threats. So, I'm not going to say the name of my school, because I don't want someone to call the school and, like, make a bomb threat kind of thing. But, yeah, my school does green out. I think it's next week being, you know, October 27th. I fear if recorded out of throat. Uh, <coughs> sorry. I got a slight cold. And see, you want to tell a person with a cold to just stop coughing. Or you want to tell a person with diabetes to just start exercising or stop eating sugar. So why, what gives you the right to tell a person with depression that it's all in their head or that they just need to be happy or a person with schizophrenia, especially. I mean, yes, technically, yes, it is in your head, like the chemical imbalances, but like, it's not my fault I'm depressed. Like I said, the reason why I'm depressed is unknown. Me and my therapist have been working hard to try and find the root cause of why I have depression. Understand this. Depression isn't just sadness. It's a whole fucking chemical imbalance that not even people with doctorates truly understand. Let alone me just an ordinary person that doesn't have a doctorate in anything. Period. But alas... Too many people trust the wrong sources. There's so much disinformation and filter bubbles. People are on their phones all the time. And like TikTok algorithm, the Instagram algorithm, all that fun stuff only shows some content that further... Yeah, it's called confirmation bias for a reason. I'll link a video down below by Cole Hastings as to why critical thinking is dead. I just made a quick reference to that video. But basically in that video, he I don't think he says the person's name too, but I know he definitely shows pictures of the person. And like yeah. I'm not gonna say much more in this video, A, because I can't make up people's minds. B, I don't really wish to debate or argue with people that think depression is not real. And there's not much I can. That's not that's the. Bleh. There's not much else I can say in this video, but this is something that. Yeah, but anyway, I haven't shown you guys that tweet or xed now that Twitter became X. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm gonna show it now and. uh... Just Mark sent in a video, so I hope I educated y'all in the event that previously you did not believe in depression. I hope I educated at least one of y'all, and I one of y'all who used to not believe in depression now do believe in depression, because this shit is fucking real. And finally, here's that little tweet. It reads, My brother died from depression. He also frequently exercised, had supportive friends and family, was successful in school and in work. He had goals that he con was constantly reaching. He still killed himself. People who are not depressed are not weak-minded. They are sick. Understand this. Now, like I said, depression is a spectrum. Personally, I'm not as successful. Personally, I... Used to exercise a lot, but then something happened. I have no idea what happened, and I haven't been exercising. And I'm just overall not that successful. I am trying to change that. Understand that. I am trying to change my life for the better. I am actively trying to 
become the best possible version of myself. I want to be successful, but something inside of me just does not let me understand this. And I have tried multiple times to snap out of it, and I cannot seem to snap out of it. If I could just snap my fingers and be the best version of myself and have no problems in my life whatsoever, I would. Understand this. I did not choose to be depressed. But you can be choose to be kind. So yeah, mental illness is not a choice. But kindness is. This ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would have. So, if you watch this whole video, I want you to comment. And don't worry about spelling this wrong. Just try to spell it correctly. Just, if you are if you watch the whole video so that I know you watched it, just go in the comments and comment. Super califragilistic SPR. Okay, I'm going to give you an easy word. Comment dandelion. If you watch this whole video.